Rick and Amy are a fun, amazing couple. They are young professionals living downtown in a really cool part of the city. And they have a place where a lot of their friends gather. And what we really needed was to create a fun space for them to be able to entertain their friends. The layout was great. The proportions were actually just not sufficient. So they had a very small island. It was tall, it was dark, it blocked the space. And they loved having people come over. So being able to expand the entertaining space and make like a way more functional, practical kitchen was really important. The kitchen is typically always a client's priority. It's the heart of the home. If you're entertaining, it's where everybody gathers. When you're cooking, it's where you want to be able to really move around and be free and creative. Originally, when you walked into the space, there was a pantry that was tucked behind two walls. There was a lot of open space on the top. It was a bit of an eyesore, to be honest with you. So that area got a bit of a transformation. We facelifted it and took the cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling in order to maximize the space. Another thing that we added in was a fun bar fridge and a cool countertop in order to be able to entertain, make a couple drinks, make a coffee, and then an open cabinet above. Like I always love being able to have an area where there's books and some plants and just a little bit of freshness and personality. So I wanted to really leave that area open in order to let the client's personality shine through. My design principle was to frame in all of the functional area. So I did that by creating a border around the kitchen. So anything that's inside that wood frame is essentially your functional cooking space. Aesthetically, we decided to go super clean on this kitchen. So we went with white matte cabinet fronts. If you feel these, they're amazing. They almost have like a silky texture to them. It's a fabulous melamine. The hardware actually is amazing. I found these brass pulls. They are a brushed finish with a slight taper on them. They just feel amazing underhand. They're spectacular. It's my favorite part of the kitchen. The countertop that we selected was actually chosen by the client. She had done a lot of research and found a material that looked like clouds. It's a beautiful matte material. It just feels amazing under the touch. And in order to maximize the space, we ended up going with the full-size slab on the top of the counter, which actually had a little bit of an issue because when it came time for installation, the templators realized that the slab was too big for the elevator. So we are up on the 13th floor, and these poor men had to carry this piece of stone up 13 flights of stairs, and here it is in all of its glory. <laughs> The client also wanted to keep seeing this amazing material, so I created a really cool waterfall on the island, so the one side you walk in and you see a really beautiful flat slab. It also continues past the island in order to create an additional area for seating. Along the back counter, we also used it as the backsplash, which turned out to be spectacular. It's very clean, there's no seams, it looks amazing, and uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This entire kitchen has so much storage. We've got a double-sided island, so there's touch latches where you can have additional storage. The other side is a full functioning kitchen with garbage pull-out, tons of drawers, and the upper cabinets all open on a double hinge, so you pull them forward and you get like really cool access to an area that typically is a bit too high to reach. Rick and Amy love their kitchen. The new space is bright, it's amazing for entertaining. All the old space just wasn't them. So we created a space that was light, bright, really fun and energetic, and now they're proud to have their friends over.